Hey guys, welcome to our Saturday Night Thrift Hall. We go live every Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time to show you the junk that we purchased. Is it really the junk? I mean, the really quality, awesome stuff. Um, all the stuff is thrifted. We're gonna tell you what we paid for it and what we're gonna sell it for. And everything is listed at jamierayvintage.com. Just click Saturday Thrift Hall. And Caitlin's on here dropping links and answering questions. And we're going to get started. All right. We found this clock. It was in the collectibles. At the thrift store, this is what we would probably pay for a dresser or an entire table, which actually we did last week. We bought an <laughs> entire table for the same amount. But this romantic beauty romantic was $40. Cottage core. <laughs> it was $40. It has its... Uh, Key. It has its key, and we're selling it for one hundred and ninety nine ninety five. I saw them anywhere from two hundred to like two fifty and up. It's New Haven Clock Company. I love the face; it's original. It's kind of aged, um, and I wasn't sure when I bought it that it was going to be worth like a ton of money. Um, but then I looked it up, and it was. I just like really liked the style of it. We are not clock experts, so I didn't wind it. I can't tell you that it for sure works. A lot of times these older clocks need clock experts to like get them going. So I'm just I think you could that. probably just wind it and it'd go. The key's My right there in the bottom. Needs adjusting. It, it was probably good. why I was close. It, oh. it focuses in and out. All right. All right. So first item, the fancy clock. I love the detail on it. And it was just something that I'm like, I would totally just put that in my house. So if nobody buys it, I will find a spot for it. Okay, next up, put it on the I think this actually came from my sister, Deborah. I'm not positive. There was stuff on the front porch that I think Caitlin left here. Um, this is the if world. If not, we got like a random junk fairy dropping well, stuff. Well, I just know that my friend Rachel was going to bring some stuff too, but this oh. doesn't look like something Rachel would own. So this is the world's bougiest brass box. It's for your tissues. The hinges are no longer functional, yeah, but the, it's so heavy. It sits down. It's... It's got a lip that it sits in. It's twenty six ninety five. Oh, it looks like it's gold and maybe cast iron. Maybe not brass. I think it's cast iron. Let me look at that. Caitlin, can you change the listing to cast um, iron? No, this is this is brass. No, it's not. Look at the feet. Yeah, that the happens. The gold's to, coming off. That happens to brass. Look, look in here where it's where it's busted. Oh, it's an unknown substance. He says brass. I I don't know. Whatever. It's the fanciest. You know what? It huh. looks like it might be like cast pewter with Gold brass paint. over the top, like a thin brass coating of some sort. We don't know, but this tissue box can be yours for the low, low price of twenty six ninety five. Either way, it's pretty awesome. And if someone breaks into your house, you can totally beat them over the head with it. I mean, so you got two options grade. here. You just... Yeah, I mean, it works always. Um, Zeb's mic is kind of low. I don't know. My mic is low. He's just talking softer. I, can anybody else not hear him? Let me look at it. Let's make sure it's on because on. his my mic could be picking up him. No, it's on. And the decibels are right. Everything's good. Can you guys hear them? We are go for launch. <laughs> Kayla says it sounds good to her. We're going to go with Kaylin. All right, next up we have these enamel bins. When I first saw them, I thought I was just going to sell them as is. They say like flour and sugar and somebody actually like got their cricket out and put some vinyl on the back. So I'm going to take off this and then I'm probably going to sand this off and then I'm going to put the new IOD seed packet transfers Ooh, on that's them. That's going to be good. They're going to be so cute. Um, You're going to leave them red? What? You're leaving them red? I don't know. Oh, yeah. The top's going to stay red. Okay. they have... it'll match well with the seed packet transfers. Yeah. So these aren't crazy old. They have like a seal oh, in the top. But that's actually awesome because then you could actually How put much? things like flour and sugar and you don't have to worry about it becoming oh. one solid block. They were $2 each. They'll be $22.95 with a transfer. And if you buy them, you're not going to see the sugar and I will peel off the um, word on the back. They all have like a separate, like someone probably just turned them around. And then they put cricket vinyl on them. Anyways, I'm going to make them super cute. I'm excited about these. So this was probably supposed to be powdered, but it's just powdery sugar. Powder, well, it's because I've already started. It's like very satisfying to peel off the cricket vinyl. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, going to make those cute with the new transfers that just came out. And then 
The next thing we have up is these really cute knobs. My friend Leah, she lives, she's my back door neighbor. She brought me these from, I guess they have like a vacation rental or something. They were remodeling in their family and she set these aside. I think they're from St. George and oh. they're vintage porcelain knobs. I'm going to bring them close. All I'll right. bring them close. Um, Eliza, are you being picked up? No. Who is that? Someone's being dropped off. Oh, okay. Eliza's oh, let me get the there. dirt off this one. This one's been in the kitchen. So we got 38 of these knobs from oh, my neighbor wow. for free. We're selling them for $2.95 each. Look at the detail on that rose for how small that is. Yeah, it's really pretty. I was excited to get, I, I don't know. I'm wondering if they had like a bathroom with them in there, like 38 of the same white ceramic vintage. I don't know knobs about like a this. bathroom, but maybe they were, they look like they're actually in the kitchen or something. I mean, in a cottage kitchen, like how cute would these be? Yeah. Maybe in our cottage kitchen, maybe oh. I'll, if they don't sell, maybe I'll save a few of them. Well, so we're not we going to need a lot of knobs because I'm probably yeah. not going to do uppers. I'm yeah. just going to do lowers with some storage. Maybe and your, with a sink, I'll just do a skirt like ours. Maybe seat. your pie safe situation. Yeah, that'd be cute. Okay. Um, Cooper's we call on it the here. pie safe situation because it needs a lot of I repair. thought Cooper was hanging out with Hema. Maybe he's uh -huh. just hanging out here for a minute. I bought the Moose Kinzeb, paint it to look like stone, please. Yeah, Claire I would love to paint that to look like stone. Zeb Speaking would love to of do the that moose, for you. Let me, let's I'm, show the moose. I'm trying to move these knobs. And ironically, I bought the moose. Yeah, Jamie found the noose. It wasn't but that's me. because I knew you would like it, and I like to buy things so, that make you happy. So I was either going copper or a stone look, so we will do stone on this guy. Isn't he cool? Yeah, and he's got hanging hardware on the back, so good to go. I'm gonna, I'll am gonna, i make it look it's like It's going to be much better than the white that he came from. Probably originally from Hobby Lobby or whatever. And how much was that one? It, was... it looks like Creative Co-op, actually. Oh, okay. How much was it originally? Uh, $25. No, how much No, how much did we pay for it? Oh, a dollar. I don't know what the original price was. But I can't read my writing. Is that say 25 or 26 I don't know. I don't know what you put on there. Whatever Claire paid, that's what it sold for. <laughs> Zeb can't read his writing. All right. Well, my marker was fading. It was a silver oh, marker anyway. Okay. And I had to, mid mid pricing the thrift haul, I had to get another marker. Lots of ceramics and pottery in this haul. Um, I'm going to do these next. These are California pottery. Oh, really? I was told these were artichoke. You put artichokes in a dip or something, but they still have the original sticker. Brand, so inside it says new. made in California poppy trail pottery by Metlocks. That's what we call new old stock. They were 25% off of $5. So that was four bucks, right? Mm -hmm. Right. I don't know. Three something. I'm not good at the quick math. $15. Yeah. It was like three something, 375. Anyways, 25% off of five bucks is what I paid for them. And they're 14 95 each. And I have you should never do math on camera. So I should never do math without. I like. Right. So this vase, is, I think it's amazing. It's like a really almost like jadeite color green. It does have some bubbles in the glass, which leads me to believe that it was probably hand blown. Um, but it's got like clear on the outside and the glazings on the inside of the glass. So you can like see like the clearness a little bit here and there. Um, anyway, if you've got a flower garden this spring slash summer, it's, uh, it's waiting for your flowers. It was $2 at the thrift store, no chips or dings or anything like that. No flea bites. It, it does need a like, good scrub. It does look almost like jadeite. I mean, it's not jadeite because it's glass, yeah. but it, the color is it's very similar gonna to It's going to be thirty six ninety five. It's big. This it's is so pretty. I don't have any flowers to put in there right now or I'd drop something I just think pink peonies or Ooh, yeah. roses would be beautiful in here or white would do, pair really well with this face. All right, why don't you show them the next face you found We here. are not on our A game. We got kids all over the place and the dogs are out. Sorry, as long as they don't bark. This no face barking. is cool. This face is copper and someone took a torch and you know, may, I don't know what the actual effect is called, but change the color of the copper here. It and then the it. brass, uh, the top is a brass on the inside copper on the outside and then it's got this brass collar here i really wanted to take a torch to it and see if we could do it but jamie's like i kind of like it like that so we're gonna see if it goes it just kind of looks like palm fronds or something on there um i'm not i haven't tested it to see if it holds water but it could 
another great vase. I mean, how would it not? Yeah, it's it's all one piece. It's not welded, so probably yeah. holds water. It's made in India, which was, was where a lot of brass and copper comes from. Yeah, it was three bucks. We're selling it for twenty nine ninety five. If no one buys it, I'm mm. gonna try it with the. Uh, I was like, I don't know torch. what's gonna happen when you do that. So I'm gonna let somebody buy it as is before you use it as a science experiment. <laughs> Stop! I can do science. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is it Vaseline glass? Um, no, it's a little bit more modern. It's not Vaseline glass. Yeah. Can You're the kids about bark? The, the dogs base? will bark. The dogs might bark. They're watching a bike go by right now. Very, oh, Rex, oh, Rex. That's a no safe barking. bike. It's a safe bike. All right. This rooster, I don't know how much this was. I didn't see a price on it. How um, much did I bought you pay? that for like four ish dollars, but it was 25% off. So four or five dollars. And that was at the so I went to a thrift store in Heber and everything was way more expensive than we normally spend, but still a good deal to work, make it worth it. So I think this is like four or five bucks. At DI, I'd probably pay like two or three. All right, so let me show you small roosters. That's a mid-size So this rooster. one is going to be $26.95 once it's painted. Oh, thank you for the super chat, Sally Bonswell. She says, hi, guys. Glad to be back. I have not seen you for a while. Where have you been, Sally? Let us know. We are glad you're back, too. Okay, um, next up, also bougie thrift store, $4 each. But then I Bougie looked these up, store. and so I paid $3 each because they were a dollar off. Uh-huh. Um, I looked these up and these are collectible. They're like 1950s pastel really? wear. Um, and so I'm selling them each for $19.95 and I just listed them like chicken bending down, chicken standing or rooster standing up. Because I didn't <laughs> know what to call They're both roosters. Because I thought about painting them, but I have been using the Google lens a lot and checking values on things before I automatically slap paint on them because I have probably committed some vintage sinning. Some vintage paint crimes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's been, I, I there's been intent okay. to crime. <laughs> I, intent the worst thing paint. ever is when I, ITP. when I swung from the Fenton lamp. <laughs> that was here in this house. I didn't know. The I coloring just it was on ugly. there was not great. It wasn't, and I was it swinging wasn't from like, it and somebody's like, that's Fenton. And I was like, we're whoops. Like, we're like, that's okay. We're going to swing from it anyway. And Jamie swung well, from it's it. already done. She didn't like it in her house. I'll tell you that. Um, all right, so these roosters, this is this is a tiny rooster, little micro rooster here. He's a bantam size. Um, is that $9.95? Yes, and he's getting get painted. painted. I think he'll be a lot cuter painted. This We're going to make him resin. look like stone. Um, Cynthia says, yes, there have been vintage paint crimes at time. Yeah, I know Cynthia doesn't love everything I paint. I'm not saying I'm sorry for all the crimes. I'm going to tell you right now. There's, Some of them are on There's been purpose. a few of them that I felt like I improved. Some of them, meh. Would you guys be surprised to know that sometimes we find things and we're like, let's paint this and see how many mean comments we get? <laughs> Shh, don't tell our secrets. We'd love to do it to mid-century modern. It's our favorite because the I... mid-century modern modern people are so passionate about it. I only their... <laughs> do it on small mid-century modern. Like I did a little nightstand and it did get some hate comments, but mostly because people just wanted me to leave it white. I thought for sure people would be like, I can't believe you painted that, but nobody said anything. I was like, where am I? Maybe maybe all the mid-century modern lovers have blocked us oh, that's for our past true. vintage crimes. Maybe. You think? Maybe. All right. <laughs> Why don't you show them this? Great little topiary. This is ivy, which Jamie doesn't usually go for the ivy leaf. But I love that. It's metal well, underneath. It's got yeah. like a metal globe situation underneath here, like wire frame. These are wires here. So if you didn't like this, you could put, it'd be easy to put moss or something else over the top of it because it has the topiary form in it. All right, so this was a dollar. It'll be sixteen ninety five, and you can feel the weight. And it as it. is. I mean, you can have it as it. So, if it doesn't sell, like in a few months, I'll come back. But I always say that, and things always sell. We get a comments a lot, like, "What do you do with the things that don't sell?" Like everything sells eventually. I've never had anything that five years later hasn't sold. Oh, not even five. I'd say like two sometimes things take a year. The but longest things sit around is probably like two. Yeah. Well, what happens is like as much as we bring in every week, we sell. It may not be the same items we brought in, but like volume wise, we're not bringing in more than. That's than why what's we thrift so much every week because we got to replace what sold last week. Well, and we, I did start when we first opened our shop. I did a lot of like um, wholesale items, but now I try to have more found items mm -hmm. in our shop. So it just takes a lot of effort. We got to buy a lot of stuff. And luckily, I love shopping. So I'm okay with thrifting every day. 
These remind me of those little white flowers we saw at the property last night that we didn't know what they were called that were like randomly popping up all over the place. Guys, I'm obsessed with our new property, like <laughs> obsessed with it. We went over there. It's been raining a lot. You don't use the word obsessed lightly. I'm not. I, I don't, I don't, I, don't, it is so I good. would say that I rarely ever, if ever use it because I'm well, usually like, yeah, that's cool. That's we did, I like it, but man, we did some filming. I'll try to film some more that'll be on the next Jamie and Zeb on our vlog channel video. But, um, it, we have a Canyon, like a Canyon in our property. Like, well, I took her up. I, I coaxed her, convinced her that the view was worth the hike because it's 40 acres, so I across didn't... one side is a quarter mile, quarter mile, quarter mile. If you walk around the entire edge, you've walked a mile. And it's, it's I steep. mean, we go from like, in that quarter mile, it's probably like 500 you go, feet. yeah, you go up about 500 feet in that it's quarter like mile when we went hunting. to get to the best view on the property. And then she had never walked along the backside. She just went on like halfway up the hill on the front side of the property and didn't even ever go to the back side. The last time we, we bought it without her have, having seen the entire thing. She still hasn't seen the entire the thing. The first time you took me was Sunday and I don't like to sweat on Sunday. It's my day of rest. So we, I literally bought it without knowing. And so yesterday we're hiking around our property. It's 40 acres. And I'm like, this is incredible. Like so many well, fun all the things, wildflowers like are popping rocks up. coming down, all the wild, even the cactus was pretty. The cactus was blooming. Yeah. So anyways, these leaves, I digress. We'll come back to the, the jump. The flowers on here. These remind, <laughs> these flowers look just like the flowers on the top of our cactus, but I call them cabbage roses. I think I paid a dollar fifty. It's right here. It is a dollar fifty. I found the which tag. is an incredible deal. And we're selling it for twenty eight ninety five, right? Yeah. And twenty eight ninety five, like normally something like this would be forty or fifty bucks in the store. So this is a good so deal. honestly, it's got like this wreath form here. So you're probably twelve to fifteen dollars on the wreath form before you even get started. Then you got to buy the greenery. Then you got to do the work. Someone's done it for you. It's a great deal. They want to know if you have a special breakfast plan. We have church at 8.30, so brunch afterwards. So I'm, why does that make it sound? So I'm usually the breakfast guy, honestly. Yeah, uh, he's actually better I make better pretty at killer it. breakfasts. Like, I can do all the things with breakfast for the most part. Um, but tomorrow, I don't get to really sleep in. I'm going to go feed the cow at 7 and make sure the There'll chicken's be a nap. Okay. There'll be a nap involved. Um, and church is at 8.30, so it's not like, you know, even if I slept in, I'd be up by like 7.45 getting ready for church. Um, so, you know, the kid, the primary kids will sing to all the dads. It's great. It's a fun time. Uh, but I'm planning on taking a pretty epic nap, and then we're going to go jack – We've got mostly cedars and pinyon pines on the property, but it's like so thick you got to dodge through them. You can't really just walk a straight line and then oh you're God, holding God. branches back. I know, but I'm excited about this. We're going to go tomorrow and look for the perfect uh, biggest cedar we can find and maybe put a little tree fort in there. But not tomorrow. We'll just pick the tree out. We'll pick the tree tomorrow. Okay, this so, is good. I have to read this comment. I'm sorry. It's, I got distracted. It's on Facebook. It's about our thrifting videos. Somebody says, I wish my thrift stores were as awesome as yours. And somebody else says, me too. And then a gal named Christy says, don't you know this is staged? That's why they make videos. I can assure all of you guys that our thrifting videos are not staged. This is the junk we are finding in the wild at our thrift stores. Yeah. Ain't nobody got time to stage thrift. We're not HGTV. They're not planting good things. What's that show where they have the, they sell the storage units and they literally plant good stuff oh, for people to find? Oh, yeah. Storage wars. That is not our life. We are just no. going out in the wild finding stuff. I promise you. If you guys watch the actual thrifting videos on Monday, you'll see the stuff on the shelves. All right. I'm going to pick four people while we're live. I just picked a random video uh, that had that funny comment on it. And I'm picking the top four sharers from that video. And I'm going to screenshot this right now. So that way I can send it to Caitlin because somebody asked if we'd picked winners and I had not. So totally random. I'm picking these people right here. So the winners for sharing our videos on Facebook and you can share any video anytime. We're going to pick two winners every week and send happy mail. Um, are Cheryl Travis, Tamara Tammy, Deborah Lynn Watson and Sarah McDonald and totally chosen at random. I found a random video and picked the top four that were mushed together. So Cheryl Travis, Tamara Tammy, Deborah Watson and Sarah McDonald. I'm going to send this to Caitlin so that way she has it. 
Um, if that's you, would you please email info at jamierayvintage.com with your mailing address and we will send you some happy mail. We'll send you, we usually we send some product in the mail for you for free. So if you guys are on Facebook, make sure you hit that share button. And we'll pick out two more people next week. All right. I'm showing you guys these baskets up close because this is like a, like a nice, almost like a duck cloth. I'm not sure what these baskets are for, but they're lined and already painted white for you. You get six of them with the little organizer. I thought it would be fun in a laundry room for like various different kinds of it's a little bit chippy and distressed. I actually looked this up online and all the things with cubbies, look for something with cubbies and baskets. They were hundreds of dollars, even the little things. So this was a steal at three bucks at the thrift store. And then we sold it for how much? Thirty six ninety five. Um, yeah, thirty six ninety five. It's got no. hanging hardware on the back. I pay that just for the baskets. Those are so cute. We're not painting it. Going to no. leave it white. Chippy as is um cj says can i be one of those people if you want to uh share like on facebook we will be picking two people every week um somebody says please don't paint the birds on the bowl did you buy it so i'm going to show you the birds so, the, so bird, the bird has a little chip on the nose yeah they're not perfect but what i could do is I could paint the bowl because I really, I mean, you can have it as is, but I actually think it'd be better with the bowl painted. And then we could paint the birds white. Or you can just have it or as is. Or you can is. have it as is. Just email <laughs> Caitlin. If you're the one that bought this, go to info at jamierayvintage.com. Email Caitlin. Tell her you want it as is. But just know that I was painting it because the nose is chipped a little bit. And I just thought it would look better it's painted. It's got a, little, a couple so, of imperfections. But, you know, if that doesn't bother you, just flip it out this side and... Bam, you'll never know. Yeah, so it's twenty. it was $1.50, and we sold it for $29.95. And again, if you do not want it painted, email info at jamierayvintage.com, um, and we will set it aside. But you have to email because it gets a little bit crazy, and then Caitlin makes sure that we know. So I'm going to set this aside so it definitely doesn't get painted tonight. Just You guys, this is the find of the week here. Berry baskets. 75 cents each. They're solid wood. They're slatted here for drainage. Somebody use them for planting. I will rinse them out. But I got six of them. We are selling them for, let me find the one with the price on it. We're not painting these. $9.95 each. Aren't they cute? I like, I, I've never seen anything like this. Like, I just think they're super fun. They're very sturdy. Like, I think with succulents in here, they'd be adorable. And I'm guessing maybe that, maybe somebody used them for like a wedding. That's why there's so many, they like centerpieces. Yeah, they probably had, they probably came with like a flower arrangement or something. So in somebody there. said the crazy lamp lady got accused of staging stuff too. I don't think she does either. Like, I'm not that cool. Like, where am I going to find that stuff to stage with? It's, I'm actually like kind of um, like flattered. That, they, that they somebody think we're thinks that my good. junk that I find is that good that I'm staging it. <laughs> I promise you, I'm not. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right. These we're going to leave as is because I really like the color All right. of that. Let's start the debate now. Is this a trivet or a trivet? You tell me. It's a trivet. People call it trivet. Is it French? I'm going okay, to guess it's a solid. You can explain solid, yourself with these mugs. A solid silent T. Someone smarter than me that knows. Caitlin says, or that you're that organized to stage it. Caitlin knows I lied. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, you guys, I'm going to tell you with all honesty, and we maybe spend an hour a week thrifting. Like, we're not even like those kind of people that spend, hey, Jack, don't rough house. He's going to get bit. He needs to stop. Don't rough house with a dog like that. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Mom moment. mom moment. <laughs> we spend like an hour a week max thrifting. Like we do not spend more time than that. If we got to go to two or three stores. If we go like to two, two or three stores, like that is not staged. It's legit, not planned. Like it is just our life as we live it. Everything that we film is stuff that we happen to be working on. In fact, we don't even have an editorial calendar and we really should. Like we don't plan ahead. It's just our life. Yep. Basically, what's on the channel is a running blog of DIYs that we do all week long to fill the shop up. Welcome to my crazy. That's what the all right. Are. So Show, the explain yourself with these mugs. Hold on, the Trivet. That sounds hard to say. Um, 
is going to be twelve ninety five. It's cast iron. It was two dollars at the thrift store. So that came from Southern Living Home. This did. Yeah. Nice. Southern Living Home. Deborah says, "Look at this, Seb. Oh no, that's not the candle holder we planted." <laughs> Now I kind of want to plant something to see if he'll find it. <laughs> All right. Talk about the mugs. I didn't plant these. All right. So these are more of the poppies. The last ones I found were Mikasa from Japan. No, these, how do you call it? Like, Mikasa. Steph likes to call it Mikasa. I'm like, it's Mikasa. <laughs> Mikasa, Sukasa, you know, however you want to say it. These are false graph. They're newer. They've got the poppies on them. Similar design to the Mikasa stuff, but I found four of them. Look, there's the, I didn't plan them. There's the actual thrift store tag <laughs> for $1.50. We're really getting these good deals. And DI doesn't, we don't get any tips either. And here's the crazy thing. So DI has actually paid me to be at an event before where they did a grand opening and they got other influencers there and they paid me a good amount of money to like promote that event. They still didn't give me any insider stuff ever. I just thought, well, maybe they'll like take me through the back and let me cherry pick stuff. Nope. It don't work like that. <laughs> I can't right, remember so what we're selling the set $1. for. $1.50, I think 1995 for the set. $19.95. So it makes it like $4.95 a mug. Anyway, I I just if you don't love the poppy, you could put them this side out, you know, and I just love the color. It's almost like a crock color on these. With the black they are cute. They're definitely something that I feel like if you had your own apartment or something somewhere, you it would, would be like such like dark neutral tones with like blackout blinds and drapes. Like you wouldn't even know. I'd be like walking around maybe with a flashlight. Maybe not. We had an agreement when we got married. What was the agreement? I don't know. You remember. get to take care of the yard and to do whatever you want with the garage. Hey, my yards are looking pretty nice. My garage is an abomination to garages. <laughs> <laughs> I can take some of the blame for your garage too, but I can also take some of the credit for the yards because I do help. I like yard work for the most part. All right, next up, Little Angel with 75 cents. Um, and we're, I think it's like a little lid to a bowl. Somebody said when I was thrifting that they saw the bowl, but I didn't. Um, and I'm just going to paint it cute, and it's going to be $9.95 because this thing would be cute just like sitting on a shelf. Oh, it's almost like a little pedestal. Yeah. And we have another angel, too. This angel is That's a it. shelf sitter, and this one has to be painted because this one has lost its head at some point, and somebody glued it on very lovingly. It was a dollar, and it's going to be $10.95 painted. And this one has a little ledge, so she, like, sits on the edge. And I love angels. They sell very well for us. And I didn't buy angels for a really long time. But then I remembered that my mom really likes angels and she has purchased many of them. Sure. And I just thought if my mom loves them, other people probably do too. And they've been very good sellers for us ever since. Jack, that's enough M&Ms or Skittles or whatever you're getting out of the pantry. <laughs> Can you guys see Jack sneak by the fridge over here? Stay out of the M&Ms. Well, did you eat dinner? No. Did you? He's had, he's, he went to the new Spider-Man movie. So he's had probably movie popcorn and Skittles healthy buddy oh they said that prices are higher in other states for di so that is true um it just depends on how far they had to ship the goods if they're not getting enough uh donations, donations locally they ship in stuff because here in utah and i know in arizona and california i don't actually know if there are any in california california there are but they're not as but i know that they get like way more donations than they need at several locations Utah especially yeah and they ship them to all the other stores that aren't getting as many donations instead of just throwing it away they'll they'll even they'll bother to ship it and so if they've had to ship the goods in they mark the price up a little bit because you know they shipping. cover the cost yeah so if the prices are high, just tell local people to donate more. Yep. <laughs> All right. This is a crystal vase. It was $4. It's really pretty. Like it's got like this fun bait, like design on the bottom and we're selling it for $29.95. So we have three vases. Three vases. No, we have more than that. You know what? We it's, also, we have five. But legit, it's flower season. How much are your roses giving you life? We had three little blooms on a yellow rose that I saved. <laughs> did you just use garden. an Exo McKenna phrase? Maybe I did. I purpose. watch a lot of Exo McKenna. <laughs> I might have been teasing. I love to watch some of her vlogs and her channels. And she has these beautiful roses. And she's she like, does have she's like, they roses. give me life. And so you tease me because I found a rose bush in our garden 
because we've been watering it. And he's like, does it give you life? And I'm like, yes, it does. They do. They give me life. Oh, let me fix the camera. Okay. Um, so two more vases. These are milk glass. This one's like a bud vase and it's going to be $6.95. This one's a little harder to find these wider ones. So you can put a bouquet in and this is more milky or milk glasses is more like solid. Um, and this one was a dollar and it's going to be $9.95. And then this one, whenever I find these, they're always broken. And this one's a dollar 50 and it's going to be $12.95 and none of the little ruffled edges are broken that's pretty rare actually usually if they make it to the thrift store one of these is chipped and it's actually pretty sharp and i gotta say yeah it. i'm super excited to find i'm running out of space cody stop attacking rex we got a thrift thrift haul to do over here <laughs> we're working here all right so this is one of those cake plate punch bowl slash oh what do you call it just i was on a roll and i lost my train of thought Anyway, you put your dip in here and your relish tray. There we go. So you got three and one. Yeah, this, I love that it can be a, a relish tray too. Yeah, it was $5 at the thrift store. What do you like to put on your relish tray? Like if I could choose what I put on my relish tray, there's going to be olives. There's going to be the little corner shown pickles. Mm. And I like carrots and I like broccoli, but you don't really like broccoli. I don't like broccoli broth. I love Those broccoli. would be my four like choices. What would you put in your relish tray if you just chose four things? And then ranch in the middle. Um, so I'm with you on the carrots and the little uh, corner. Shown I, I actually love olives like a lot. I might even go as far as to put like little tiny pickles. I, said I wouldn't pickles. dip those in the ranch. No, but I like them on my relish tray. So what else would you do for the fourth thing? The fourth thing is hard because that's basically the vegetables I like. You like I, carrots? I also like slices of bell peppers. Oh, yeah. Peppers. I could see you doing peppers. I like peppers. Oh, too. this is $29.95. It was $5. We're selling for $29.95. Are they not called cornerstones? Are they called gherkins? I, gherkins is probably right, Less. It's like you read my mind. Oh, know. it could also be a trifle bowl. You know, I actually can't be responsible for what things are called because I'm over here just winging it, making stuff up. It's been day. a long day. Carolyn <sighs> says she loves our new table. Did you guys watch their video? We took a thrifted table base and then we turned it into a 12 foot long farmhouse table that is now on our back patio. And we actually had um, people from church over today for dinner and we got to use them. So that was really fun. And we had eight of us and there we could have fit another six people easy at that table. So... I'm loving it too. If you guys haven't watched that video, check it out because hopefully that gives you some ideas because table legs for me are like what takes the longest. They cost a ton for wood. So it's so much better if you can find an existing table. I told to Jamie, I'm like, and... I may never turn table legs again. I'm just going to go start looking <laughs> at the thrift store for some good well, not legs. not everybody even can turn table legs. So it's great. All right. We're going to get back to the thrift hall here. We're very um, distracted. Sorry. This is from... Germany, I believe. I looked it up. I used the reverse Google image. I think like stoneware. Um, and it was three dollars, but it was 25% off at the Heber thrift store. And it said it was for milk. Um, I can see that being for milk. But at our house, it's like a large creamer, single serving. But milk is typically more milk is used than cream if you're gonna do milk in like coffee situations. Oh, yeah. I thought it'd be like a gravy boat. Oh, yeah, it could be used for that. It can be yours and you can put whatever you want in it for $15.95. I just love the farmhouse color. Like this is the perfect shade of blue, the perfect shade of cream. It's a little bit speckled and oatmeal. Mm -hmm. I love these kind of pictures. That's good. All right. So I have these three little Holstein milking cows. Um, they're resin. They're in good shape. No horns broken. They were $3 I can dollars no each, ears. which I thought was spendy, but I got them at the the St. Francis thrift store in Park City. Well, it's in Heber. In mm -hmm. Heber. And I love that thrift store. They have fun stuff there, but they always have really good they're stuff. always closed on Monday. So we very, like I only went because I was dropping my daughter off at camp and I just happened to stop by and they were open. So, so they're all doing the same pose here. But they're Actually, different. no, this one's different. They're $9.95 each. And the, 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 their markings are different too. Now, since you do have a milking cow, would you say these are accurate udders? Mm -hmm, pretty close. They're Zeb verified. Nine ninety five each. I mean, they look a little far forward, but whatever. This is not just not a jersey like your milking cow. No, Holsteins give a lot more milk than jerseys. That's why they're more in commercial dairies. 
Uh, Tina says, sending happy Father's Day for Zeb. Oh, thank you. Appreciate he, that. I think he's going to have a good Father's Day. We fi I, I finally broke down. I told Jamie, I'm like, Father's Day is every day pretty much. So, you know, whatever. Whatever you want to do, let's do it. <laughs> I finally broke down and agreed to get a side-by-side. -side, and Zeb got the mamma jamma of all side-by-sides this week. We're going to use it for work, of course, but it happened to fall on Father's Day. So I've already hauled wood and feed. We're calling it Father's Day present even though it was for work so yeah it's mostly work but if you want to see some footage of it it'll be on the next it just vlog actually happened to be around father's day when we ended up less i haven't bought an exterior sealer yet i'm debating i got some good um recommendations so i'm going to practice on another piece and decide what to get i just got to make sure it doesn't yellow all right zeb tell them about these you found these so i found these they were on the shelf separate from each other i don't know why they're dollar fifty each they're bookends but they're just this, this fun twisted design almost looks like something you get out of the the cool way it almost continues from one to the other yeah not yeah quite. well it's a little bit off if you move them like that it reminds me of like a swirly cone yeah it's got like this gold band around there i am going to paint them um we're selling them for 39.95 for and the they pair were, they were three dollars for the pair what is a side by side it's like an all an atv like UTV. an alternate utv utv but it's not like a razor where like a dune buggy type thing. This one looks like a little mini truck, but it's made to go off. I've been using it like a mini Has truck. Has a dump bed, it's seat six. Zeb got all the whistles and bells, so it's mostly comfortable. Although it it has a one of those automatic windows, but my car, you just push the button, it goes up. You push the button, it goes down. This one, you have to hold it. Oh, um, you're so spoiled. <laughs> and it's a little tricky with a few other things, but it does work really well off-road. We took it to our property yesterday. We're going to mostly just use it to develop our um, 40 acres that we bought. So it'll be fun. Yep. All right. Next up. You got this at what we're calling the fancy thrift store up in Heber. It was $9. It's carved. It's got like a, I want to say it almost looks like a uh, fish scale design up here. I'll bring it close so you can see it. Um, it's going to be $34.95. We're not painting this, are we? Yeah. Oh, we are painting. Okay. We are painting this, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what I said. But we're gonna spray it because I hate painting the inside of those. It has sold. Woot woot. Let me show you the detail on the top of this. It says we're fuzzy. Caitlin, are we looking going... okay on your end? Sometimes it's internet on the other side. All right, can you guys see that? Hey, Jack. Jack. Yeah, Jack, get out of the back. Bye bye. All right, I'm just making sure we didn't miss any comments. I okay, don't know we're good. if we're even going to get to painting. We have so much small stuff to show. I told you we had a lot. It's 908. Let's. It's, it's like through. a pineapple. It does look like a pineapple on top. Yeah, it does look <laughs> a lot like a pineapple. So Melamine Pioneer Woman measuring cups. They were a dollar. We're selling them for twelve ninety five. They even have like this. Always gets lost. This is a little plastic thingy that holds them together, so you can like hang them up on the wall. And then next up, we have this heart shaped box. And this was, I actually don't remember, a couple of bucks, um, maybe a dollar. It wasn't very expensive. I don't love the finish that's on it. Um, in, so I'm going to paint it. I might decoupage it. <laughs> you know, it it's reminds shoes. me of something that you might have got like chocolates in around Valentine's Day it's like in the MDF. 90s. And it's going to be 1995 once it's painted. It's going to look, it's one of those things that's going to look a lot better once it's been redone this we showed last week it was 75 cents we're going to paint it it'll be 9.95 it's just a little like candle pedestal and it's brass on the top wood underneath. is the milk pitcher pitcher speckled sorry that's a little speckled it's like oatmeal Very like faint. faint teeny teeny tiny light gray you would have to look close or have laser vision all right sorry what no i showed this while you were <laughs> Oh, show your comments. book. Your book is cool. That was so exactly I got fine. this in the collectibles. It was eight dollars, a little more than I would normally spend for a book this size, but it's from 1929, I believe. And it's got someone, Diana, got this in 1968. Age seven. At the age of seven. Um, yeah, 1929 <laughs> is the copyright on there. It's in a little bit rough shape. I saw books for 50 or 60 bucks. I put, I listed this one at 39.95 just because the shape isn't it's, as pristine. It's been read a lot, but the only real damage is on here on the outside. All the pages are legible that I can tell. I haven't like looked at every single one. And there is art in here. 
as well. This is, I think there were four or five of these, the children's own reader book four. Um, but just loved the age and the, the wear and tear on the book actually is what, what got me on this and why I purchased it. But yeah, we're selling it for thirty nine ninety five, or did you say 34? No, 39. Got to read my own handwriting. Sorry, I yawned a minute ago and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. All right, next up, this is a first aid kit that would be hanging on the wall. It's a Johnson's and Johnson's. It's vintage. Probably was in a kitchen. It's a little greasy, so it's going to need some Dawn. Um, and it's got like the original little like first aid contents list. This one is not priced. I actually don't oh, remember. Oh, there it is. A on the dollar, side. and it's going to be eighteen ninety five. We paid a dollar for it. I love it because it's rusty. It's original. It's just it's good. Okay. Holy moly. I'm going to, we, we have, have so much stuff still. still. All right. I'm going to push stuff closer and then you start rapid firing. Okay. Rapid fire thrift haul. These were a dollar each. We're selling them for nine 95 each, not getting painted on these fun little rockers. And then I don't remember pricing this duck. I don't remember the duck. I think it's like nine 95, 12. It was a dollar at the Deseret industries. Mm -hmm. We're going to paint it. No. What? I like the it has like I am terrible at guessing when you actually do and do not want to paint things. <laughs> Cuz I totally would have thought we would have painted these. I kind of like the natural not, wood on those. And uh, you know, also painted the duck. I go through phases. All right. What do you know what the price is? Um, Caitlin, were you look. able to find this? I'm going to go look. If not, you know, it'll it'll be next week. 6.95 and the item has sold. Six ninety five. Not painting the duck. All, All right. right. Now I've pushed everything in that has to go. The next up, we have these Ray Dunn bowls. They say blessed soup. Like not my stay. Each. And they are four ninety five each. This one says gobble. So we also for have one that says guac. Lovely. That one's different. It's different this shape. One's, this is listed different. And this one's four ninety five, yeah. and it was seventy five cents. These were all a dollar each. So it says cereal. I thought they were cute, and so I picked up all of them. I'm going to bring this close to show. I don't know where you got this. Do you want to show this was. while you're up close, too, because this is detailed. That came from Caitlin. Okay, so this is aluminum. Uh, well, did it come? Yeah, and originally it came from Mary Beth. So Mary Beth gave it to Caitlin. Caitlin gave it to me. All right, so it's going to be $22.95. Great little floral design roses on here. It's from Turkey. Do you sell my shirt? Sandy, I do. If Caitlin has a second, she can look up the um, link. I think we're like sold out in a few sizes. So if we're sold out in your size, just email us or click notify me when back in stock. Because I know Ivy was going to reorder some of these. Okay. Oh, I was going to have you show them this. Oh, you want me to show them this close? So too? this is a Victorian napkin ring. I don't know if it's solid silver or not. It doesn't look silver plated to me. It looks solid to me. But the mark that's in there, I couldn't really tell. Um, it's definitely Victorian from the Victorian period. It's got like a name hand carved into the center part. And I actually have a, like two or three Victorian napkin rings and a Victorian cake server. Some of these go for hundreds of dollars. And because I wasn't sure I couldn't find this exact one, I'm selling it for $89.95 and I paid $3 for it. It is Hopefully it'll zoom in on it. The embossing is just super pretty on it. Like even around here, like this, it's like a. Like you can tell detail. the name's been hand engraved, clawed something or other. CJ says, Jamie, do you know how to fix a tiny chigger bite? Mom, what do you do if you get a chigger bite? Do you put ice on it? My mom says she didn't do anything. I think if you put ice on it, that might help it. Kaylin says nail polish, right? I don't know what she means. I wonder if she's doing something else and accidentally typed it in here. All right, we're going to move on. <laughs> Maybe she'll, she'll text me. All right. All right. <laughs> so this was a dollar. We're selling it for $9.95. It's got a little ribbon. It's a candle holder. It looks like a little tea light will fit in the top, but it's shaped like a spool. And then it's got like a little bird on there, like the ribbon is still wrapped around that. 
Um, nine ninety five on this. Oh, a flea bite, like a little chip on your mug. That's what you're talking about. Um, yeah. So just a little, little Caitlin put on a little nail polish. That's what she's saying. So like just a nail polish in the same color. If you can do that, that sometimes works to hide the chip. It's like a tiny little atrium with Isn't a rooster on the top. The door does open. It was a dollar fifty, and it comes with this baggie of stuff, so you can set up your own little garden scene in there. There's a little wheelbarrow, some terracotta potted plants, a bench. There is a uh, watering can, um, a spade, a little rake. Oh goodness! They I'll can't go. hear them as bad as we I'll can because we're them. mic'd up. Um, it's going to be nineteen ninety five. They just oh, saw people good. outside in the pool, which is Eliza. All right, so it was a dollar fifty. It's gonna be nineteen ninety five. My favorite part about it is the little rooster on the top. All right. Okay, so this is I don't know what Jamie paid for this, but it's porcelain. It's got a little hanger here, a little hole for hanging. I'm assuming it's just for going on the wall. I've never seen anything like this just hanging on the wall. But we're going to use it like it's an awesome frame. It has a screw hole. Yeah. We're going to use it like it's a frame and do some IOD transfer in the middle and put some probably floral or something in there. Um, I don't know what she paid for it. Probably a buck or two. It's going to be twenty nine ninety five. I paid a dollar. So funny story about this. I have to tell you about this. So she told me what to do for a chigger bite. I'm like, put some ice on it. Kaylin says nail polish. Kaylin, so apparently if you get a chigger bite on your skin, you put nail polish on to suffocate the chigger. But then I was like, I didn't know what Kayla was talking about because the gal also said, you know, like in flea bite in this, I was like, oh, nail polish on that? That would totally work. So apparently, whether it's in your skin or on your ceramics, nail polish is definitely the answer for chigger bites. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You never know what you're going to get on a Saturday night we're, here. We're a fun bag of tricks around here. All right, show them the this Pyrex. This is Pyrex. It's clear the... Uh, it's, it's got a little wear. Someone's used it and loved it. Um, it was $2. We're selling it for $16.95. Best part about this is that the lid is intact and no chips on it. Here, let me double check. Checking. Checking for chips. Hold on. <gasps> There's a crack in it. Did I lie? No, I no, feel like that's, that's new. That's tape. Oh, is that tape? It's tape. Oh, I was like, it was in such good shape. It's just tape. We're good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, show me a huge plate There's that does have a flea bite in this it. This has a chip, and I did include it. It's a big chip. Sometimes they're like tiny, and you can't tell. Mm -hmm. This one has like a. It's probably the size of the end of my finger here on the edge. Um, and these, I looked them up online, and this is from Havaland, France, uh, Havaland and Co. Limoges. These sell sometimes for like a hundred and something dollars. This spendy. And I thought even with the chip, it was really beautiful because it even has like this raised part but Even here. on the lip here on the back, there's floral. Yeah, it's on both sides. Yeah, there's floral all around. You can't see that. You're looking at it. Sorry. <laughs> there's floral on the back side. She's like, look how beautiful it, it was is. $12 at the thrift store. It was not 25% off. I got this at the Francis one. And I'm going to sell for $69.95. It's actually one of my more favorite platters that I've found in a while. All right, so we have these three glass bells, all different shapes, all different sizes. This one has some praying hands and the Lord's Prayer on it. it, it the, all the bells, I think, are, where's the price? I wrote a price, $9.95. This one is leaded crystal made in Italy. That one's really pretty. And then this one is, it's pressed, pressed glass. but it's the good job on the glass. And it was $2 and it's also going to be, all of them are nine ninety five. dollars And then this, did you tell them this one was the Lord's Prayer? Yep. It's really cute. They're all good bells. And it's got some prayer. It's, uh, now I'm thinking along with the stage thrifting, you have a crew of comedy writers. Now we're really just that weird. Slow <laughs> <laughs> it. Okay. Stage thrifting though, still. I was like, like I didn't, what honestly. Do you think we are? Stage the, thrifting. That the is like thrifting the is so of aggressive in our thrift stores. Like, we got to be there earlier. We're going to miss oh out gosh. on the good stuff. It's gotten, it's gotten pretty intense. We used to just kind of casually stroll in, say hi to all our friends. We'd thrift. Oh, I like that in your basket. Oh, do you want it? I oh, still no, do. I couldn't take it. No, take it. You need it. You know, that that's the conversation that's going on with the, and now it's like, 
race in there, get all the good stuff before everybody else gets it. And I always like it when I see people like, so some people do know who we are. Like they know, and some people, especially regular thrifters do not like that we do this, that we tell people what we pay and what we're going to sell it for, no. that we tell them how we do it and where we go. Like people do not like it. And I am not kidding when I tell you that I get some side eye at the thrift store and I'm like, I'm just here to buy the junk. And I, people like the doors open and they start running. And I'm like, listen, I'm just going to hang back here with my cart because the truth is a lot of the things that I get are things that other people wouldn't thrift or they wouldn't notice. So I'm not that worried about it anyways. And I'm never throwing elbows for junk. Well, I'm just going to take my cart and enjoy my thrift experience. Well, all that to say, if we were to leave something out and stage, like we were walking up to it, it would get yes. snagged. Oh, yeah. like, like I've no, had I people be like, this is my hand going for this. And they'd be like, well, I can't stage it's like stuff. a regular occurrence. <laughs> We'd have to be thrifting when nobody else was in there. Right. And that doesn't happen. All right. So these were $1.50 each. We're selling the set for $19.95. We find short ones of these a lot. But they're not cut. These are pressed glass, but they're a good press. They're like pretty sharp um, and they're taller. Usually yeah. we get them like this tall and these are double. I was super excited to find those. They're really gorgeous on a, like a, a dining table setup. Because I think sometimes we kind of, because we live in a very fast paced world, we don't set things up. But I think sometimes it's nice to like set a table, put some candlesticks, even if it's just a regular old meal, just enjoy the everyday. And candlesticks like that are a great way to kind of elevate a tablescape. It's like a All long, right. skinny TIE fighter. And I'm not really sure what Zeb's doing with my French it's champagne glasses. a long, glasses. skinny TIE fighter. <laughs> All right. French champagne glasses still have the label, Luminarc. And, they, and then it says some French stuff, probably made in France. Is 75 what cents says. each. Yeah, and it's even in the bottom. It says Luminarch France on the bottom. They're sixteen ninety five for the pair. Listen, you can drink orange juice out of those. Whatever. Drink whatever you want. You can be all kinds of fancy. You know, you you need to take your medicine in the morning with a little glass of water. Perfect size. I like it. Okay, let's. <laughs> so this I actually saw a lot of this pottery from Portugal more expensive than what I'm selling this for. Um, but the, it does have like a few little like chips in the bottom where like, if you're looking at like this, you can't tell, but it's on the bottom, bottom and it's long, low cart, L O U C A R T E made in Portugal. Lucart. Um, no chips here, no chips here. It's got a really pretty handle and fun design. Wait. It was $6. There is a chip in the handle. What? Right there. Hold on. Hold please. It's like a crack. Oh, but it's still in really good shape, and I think your Caitlin, price. Is, can you put? I think a, your price yeah, is still right. Yeah, it does right. reflect that. Caitlin, if you're in there, can you put in there that there's a small crack in the handle? I'll but love it's, you forever. It's, it's like not. It's sturdy. But it's a good thing because I marked it down. So it was six dollars. I got twenty five percent off, and I'm selling it for twenty nine ninety five. Okay, this came from Caitlin. It was free ninety nine. She had a yard sale. Nobody bought it. My mom actually walked out, and this is the first thing she's like, ooh, maybe I should get that. But she didn't take it, so it can be yours for the low, low price of $12.95. What I like about this is the fluted edge and then the finial knob on top. It's just really cute. And it still has the plastic, so it can keep your treats fresh. So this is Delft from Holland in this little windmill. It was $0.75. Cents. We're selling it for $9.95. Someone has pressed a cotter pin in through here, so I imagine it lost its little original thing that let it spin. It still does a little bit of spinny. We're going to send it to you with the cotter pin. You know, it's working. I love that you know what that is. I would have been like, there's some metal in it. I use these every day, like with my trailer and stuff. <laughs> All right. Well, and, and the wheels on the dolly. You know, I delft. use them a lot. It's from Holland. I just love the design on it. I think it's, it's really cute. It might have originally been a bell. I don't know. It was just um, so Yeah, cute. there's a high chance, and then it got lost. It sold for $9.95. $9 Rhonda said, crazy lamp lady would call up a fun sponge. A fun I don't, sponge. I don't know what a fun sponge is, but. I don't either. Now I'm going to have to find out. All right, next up, I had no idea what this was. I thrifted it. I said so as much in my video, <laughs> and then everybody told me, which is one of the reasons that I love, love, love this community and thrifting because if I don't know something, there are so many more people out there that do and I'll have to say, I don't know what this is. So it's an egg coddler. 
and I looked it up, Martha Stewart, it's like a way of cooking eggs. Okay. You're like, you can boil the eggs. I think you can put it in the oven or you put it in water. I can't remember. But I saw Martha Stewart do it once. I just thought it was beautiful. It's from England. They actually sell for a lot. Royal um, Worcester. I paid how much? Did you take the tag off? 75 cents. 75 cents. And I'm selling for 19.95. And it's I took the tag off because I'm gonna show it. Worcester them. or Worcester. W-O-R-C. It has sold. But look at the birds it on here. It has sold. Like how awesome are those? Water bath. All right, yeah. So you water bath them. So you put the egg in there, you water bath. It's kind of like uh, poaching except for it's inside a bowl. That's my understanding. I've never cooked eggs like that. I mostly just make scrambled or hard boiled. I like my eggs in pancake better. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the sweetest little white swan and it has a little um, blue flower on here with um, some leaves. So cute. It was 75 cents and it's going to be $9.95. What'd Show you do there? A little succulent? This I is your know. shoe. Little air plant. Okay. But, well, you have it, so. Oh, I didn't get a price on this. Did you get that? It's pronounced Worcester. Um, Worcester, I, no C. I don't remember. The C is silent. Gotcha. I don't know that I'll remember that, though. Did the neighbors get a tree? Oh, I don't know. Look in the back of there. I wouldn't be shocked. Mark loves trees. Hmm. Okay, sorry. Squirrel. I, um, he loves them as much as I love them. It like, was a dollar, and like the Victorian and shoe is going to be $9.95. Okay, so Victorian shoes nine ninety five. It was a dollar. Mark and I are over here saving all the trees we can. Oh, so a fun sponge is a dude who points out the crack or flea bite sucks the fun out of the piece. Here's my situation, right? There are some people that do what we do and think if it's cracked or whatever chipped, that I don't think it takes the fun out. I think they they they're like I can never buy that. I can never sell it. Me personally, I have so many items in my house that are dear to me that are chipped and cracked that if I love something that has a little chip on it, I will totally buy it. Lest you think the copper back there is for sale, Jamie got that for herself. When it's full of chips and cracks and dings. Not cracks, but dings. I actually have to send the big pot out to be retinned. But so. the rest of it's tin and usable. It's good. Yeah. All right, so that's all of this thrift no. haul. We have exactly three minutes to paint. I don't think we're going to make it tonight, guys. We had a ton of stuff to show. Probably going to be a paint of palooza in order. Yeah. So what I've decided, why well, I'm not like decided, but I was thinking about it, is every other week. So last week we didn't do a paint of palooza. So yeah. Tuesday, I think we'll it's do a paint of palooza. It's almost like we need to, so we can catch up. Yeah, we actually have a bunch of stuff in the garage that needs painted. All right, but this is the last item. But I did, I did commit to just like pulling everything out from past thrift halls. We're going to take it to the shop. We're going to line it up. I'm going to get like three or four different cottage colors in the paint sprayer and just. You know how they sometimes have mass weddings. We're gonna, do We're gonna a have a painting. mass thrift spraying. I'm gonna separate it. Yeah, we'll separate it by colors. We'll get the guns out. That will not be live, but I might include that in the video that goes up next Friday. All right, because I said we were gonna do. Sorry, I'm gonna. I really, I'll get to these bullshit. Segue. I said that we were gonna do a part two in the backyard, but turns out we just kept the chairs we had and we bought some more. The blue matches really well with the table legs that we did yeah. on the buffet table. So we just bought some more so we have enough. And then they had we got them from Home Depot. They didn't have the blue but they got some white ones. So the blue white mixes with the white and blue tables and the gray. It's very good. So there's not going to be a part two. I mean there may eventually be when I do something else but for now the backyard's done. So maybe we'll put like painting stuff in Friday's video. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. So 48, 48's Mason Cash, established in England, 1800. These are pudding bowls that you would bake or you can make your pudding in. Um, it's Mason Cash. This like is like the Tupperware of England. Mason Cashes everywhere has these um, bowls really common. They're, they've been making them for a really long time. Like I actually don't know well how long. super well-made stoneware. Yeah. Well, it says established in 1800. I don't, yeah. So, so these have been go 223, 223 years. years. They've been Mason Cash. Now, these aren't that old, but the brand's been around that long. They were a dollar and we're selling them for. I didn't have a price on these. Mm, yeah, you did. $8.95 each. I did have a price on these. I just wasn't holding the right bolt. All right, guys. Thanks for uh, putting up with us and listening to our stories and our side notes and our segues. Hopefully you enjoyed that thrift haul. It was a lot of fun for us to go find this stuff. Um, we were lucky and found it at just a couple thrift stores this week. Um, Jamie up in Heber and then also down here at DI, the Deseret Industries. If you don't have a Deseret Industry near you, I feel a little sorry for you because they're amazing. 
Um, somebody says, are those the Crocs listed? They should be. Caitlin just dropped a link for them. Um, Painting on Tuesday. Watch for that video. And then probably the following week, we'll do a channel membership video the Tuesday after, because I think that'll be the last Tuesday in June. Yes. And I will have printables out for channel members sometime this week. So somebody had a question. They said they wanted the egg coddler, but then they when they went on the website, when I showed it, it was sold. So I just want to make sure you guys, like we have a very level playing field when it comes to thrift items. We do not pre-sell any of them. And they all go live on the website about 825 because we can't do it right when we go live. Caitlin does it a little bit for us. So sometime between 820 and 825, it goes live on the website. So if there's something you're looking for, you have to go to the website when we start, not when we show it. It all gets listed together. And if you want something, you got to check it, check out because your cart does not hold the item. And the reason we do it this way is because it would be pent, like it would be insane. Like sometimes when our thrift halls go live, we have a couple hundred people on the website, like looking and shopping. And so we just list it. That's the way we've done it for since we started selling it on the website is yeah. we just list it right before we go live. And so if there's something you've seen that you want, you need to check out the thrift hall right then. Don't wait till we show it because things sell as soon as the thrift hall goes live. And, we and if you're new and you miss something, don't worry. We'll get some yeah, really good stuff Yeah, there's always going to be week. more junk, we promise. But I just want to let everybody know that that's how that works so that way they're not confused. And if you guys download the Jamie Ray Vintage app that on your um, device, if you don't know how to download an app, find a teenager. They'll show you how. Just look up Jamie Ray Vintage. We actually send out a push notification as soon as the thrift hall goes live. So that way people know that it's on the website and they can start shopping. That's also something you have to select in the app that you want it to be. Yeah, about. make sure you have push notifications turned on. All right, guys, if you guys like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. And happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. Hopefully you guys have a great weekend. We'll catch you guys later. All right, bye, guys. Love you. I got to go wrangle some kids. They're all over the place. <laughs> all willy-nilly running through here.